So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to find the LCM of two different monomials. So remember, a monomial is a combination of a number with some variables. To do this, we're going to set it up exactly the same as how we did with the GCF. And I'm going to do this two different ways again. So I have 8a squared bc cubed and 20ac cubed. Just like with GCF, I'm going to start with the numbers. What's a common factor of both 8 and 20? Well, I know 4 goes into both of those. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 a squared bc cubed. And 20 divided by 4 is 5 ac cubed. 2 and 5 have no common factors. So now I'm going to work with the variables. I'm going to go one variable at a time. I'm just going to focus on the a's. I have a squared and I have a. Well, the smallest factor of a squared and a, or the common factor, is 1a. So I've got 2a squared divided by a is a. bc cubed, 5. a divided by a is 1, so we don't write it. c cubed. Now I'll move on to the b's. I have a b in the monomial on the left, but not on the right, so there's actually no common factors. So let's just jump to c now. I have c cubed on the left and c cubed on the right, so the common factor there is c cubed, leaving me with 2ab on the left and just 5 on the right. So if you recall from the last lesson, the numbers here on the left actually form the GCF. So the GCF, in this particular case, I'll just write it down here as a reminder, the GCF is 4ac cubed. I get that from the numbers on the left. To find the LCM, I take those numbers on the left and include the numbers on the bottom. And if you look really closely, you can see that that actually makes the shape of an L, which I like to use as a reminder for LCM. So the LCM is, I'm going to organize this a little bit differently. I've got 4 times 2 times 5. Those are the numbers. And then I have a c cubed and a b. So I put those are the variables at the end. So let's multiply those. 4 times 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Times 4 is 40. An a here and an a here. So that's going to be a squared. Then I have my single b and the c cubed. So that's how I can use double division to find the LCM of two monomials. But there's also a slightly different way that we can do this. The other way what we're going to do is we're going to do it again by comparing powers. So I'm going to start off with just finding the LCM of the numerical part of each term, or the coefficient for each term. 8 and 20, common factor of 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Here's that L for LCM. So I know that the LCM is 4 times 2 times 5, which equals 40 again. But now let's look at how we can compare powers. So this time, I am looking for the highest power. And the reason why it's the highest power is, remember, this is about multiples. And multiples tend to be bigger than the original values. So let, let's compare my powers. I have a squared and a. Well, a squared is higher than a, so a squared is part of my LCM. Let's compare b's. I have b over here, and, and there's no b here. So let's just kind of look at that for a second. A b with nothing there is really a power of 1. And b to the power of 1 is higher than, than no b, which really is b to the power of 0. But we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. So the b and c cubed and c cubed, well, those are the same, so it's just going to be a c cubed. So there's two different techniques you can really use to actually determine the variable part of the LCM. You can divide them out by the method here on the left, or you can just compare powers as shown by the blue on the right.